Fans! 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 Ever hear of being a good sport? It's an ethical standard that I was raised on. The principle is basically you cheer or root for your team in a positive light as opposed to being negative or derogatory towards your opponent. It's win or lose with class. I've been known to chastise my own home team fans for the following examples. Go home Giants! Giants suck! Mm, you can mm, with my mom and you! Mm. It's embarrassing. It's like being served your favorite piece of pie on a dirty, moldy, crusty plate. It just makes me lose my appetite. And it's hard to make me lose my appetite. It brings out the worst in people and it sours the winning atmosphere. Also, it's been my practice to never, ever, ever, never leave a game early. You never know what could happen. What? What the fudge? You don't leave a movie early because you think you know the outcome. You might think you know that Batman will prevail at the end of the movie. But you don't leave early because you live in Rancho Cucamonga and you have to get up early. Don't go to the movie! Also, it's live sports. Anything can happen. LA versus San Diego in 2006. LA was down four runs in the bottom of the ninth. They hit four home runs to tie it up. In the tenth, Padres hit another home run. And in the bottom of the tenth, Nomar Garcia Parra hit a two run dinger to walk off one in a million scenario win the game. And it was myself and four other fans to witness it. Yes, could I come up with a more current example? But the point is, I remember it because it was so freaking fantastic. Don't leave the damn ballpark. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts me as a fan when you leave the ballpark early. Our guys, they need us. Maybe I shouldn't take it so personal. But I'm ashamed of the lack of commitment and attention span we have these days. You spend half the game on your cell phone anyway. Why even go to the game then? Save yourself 14 bucks on a beer. Closer Chris Perez versus the fans of Cleveland. Loaded topic. Chris Perez upsettingly barked at the media for poor fan attendance. But he has a point. The worst attendance in the major leagues? Shameful. Cavs and Browns tickets are expensive, and you have no problem going to those. Indian tickets are free in comparison. Cleveland's supposed to be known for four things. Being a Rust Belt city, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Drew Carey, and being a great sports town. Yes, do you have little faith that they're going to be in first place in July? Yeah, so take advantage of the first place position now. Have some fun. How much do you spend a week on beer, and how many tickets could that buy? Priorities, people. You're only upset because it's true. It struck a chord and you don't like having your fan identity called out. I feel legit to bust you because I am you. And I would have my butt in section 144 with a slice of Indian pie. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Minnesota accent. Minnesota. Ryan Kessler, I love you. Minnesota. Vancouver. Ah. Barry Melrose, ah.